travel. I told you, dude, I was saving them for a rainy day. It's not even raining out. Joe said it might. <laughs> hey, Daryl, is your sister home? Can we call her? No. Hey, well, how about her big boobs? They at home? Shut up! <laughs> All right, so what, 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 what are we doing now? What are we doing now? I don't know. What you got in mind? I don't know, but this night is feeling... I'm feeling good with this night. I want to keep it going. We're going to think of something, man. Stacy Perkins. Now, we need to call Stacy Perkins. I know that I she will party know. with us I right now. Know. It's 3 in the morning. It's, uh, it's Tuesday. It don't matter because the chuck wagon's open all night. Woo! Hey, <laughs> did you hear about Kate? What about her? She broke up with that rum dum over there in Cleveland. Oh, get out. Yeah, yeah. I heard it from a reliable source. I'll tell you right now, Dale, you, you need to pounce on that right now. Chuck, she, she ain't a piece of meat, man. Besides, I like her. Here's your problem. Now, you, you're constantly keep trying to draw the defense off sides. Sooner or later, you got to call the play. Go down the sideline for seven. Tojins ahead, some. Boom! There, there it is. Nice, nice. There we go, my man. There we go. Oh. Well, they're lukewarm, but you know what I mean. So, so they're warm. Yeah, they're lukewarm. It's the same damn thing. No, no, no. Lukewarm is temperature. It's warm outside, so they're warm. No, that ain't how it works. Who the hell is Luke? All right, go in there and get me a Steve Cold beer yeah. and a hot Stacy, because right, right now I'm freezing Chuck. You shut your mouth when you're talking. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm gonna have to go with Chuck on this. Oh, one. you would. Idiots think alike. Hey, Daryl, is your sister still work down fashion bugs? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, first of all, it's not fashion bugs, okay? When you say that, you make it sound like little insects are wearing clothes. <laughs> Second of all, stop talking about my sister, dude. She's hot. Fucking hot. What the hell was that? Ah, oh, them damn coons probably got in the skids again. See what they do is they get in the skids and then like they take a shit. Right? And then when I'm cleaning out the next day, the shit falls into my hair, and then I have shit hair for a whole day. It's, it's, it's shit hair for a shit head, but you gotta watch them coots now, because they got rabies. Yeah, I'm well aware of that. Get your goat! Yeah. bought some new socks the other day and I don't know I think I'm gonna return them oh Mr. Mayor Mr. Mayor sorry Mr. Devlin I thought she was asleep what has been the protocol since day one never go in alone I made that very clear I was just trying to give her some food, and I, I didn't think she would notice me. I didn't. Show me what you did. Show me. Well, uh, who is it? Um, well, I, I took her food over here. She was asleep in the corner, and then she just, just, just slammed me up against the wall, and then she took off. Didn't you hear her waking up before that? Well, I have my headphones on. Headphones? Headphones. Headphones. There. When we get her back, you can be her supper. Please, Mr. Devlin, don't leave me in here. I want Hilga and her crew down here now. Please. The last thing we need are a couple of idiots finding this thing. No, 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 guys, guys! 
So you boys say it had about a six foot reach? I mean, it sure seemed like it was six foot reach. It could have been 12. Right, we, we, we couldn't tell, it was dark, and and by the time we got enough balls to go after it, it ran in the woods. Yeah, and we would have chased it if, if them woods weren't covered in all their jaggers like they are. Just how drunk were you guys? We, we, we I had wanted couple, to think it barred. But, but this sobered us right yeah. up. Yeah. Well, regardless, you know, it still doesn't change the fact that you guys were intoxicated when this incident happened. I mean, who was driving? Daryl. Yeah, right. Now, boys, I feel really bad about this. You know, but this crazy story you're giving me, it's not helping anything. I mean, it looks like a bear attack to me. Sheriff Bill, I know what a bear looks like. This was no bear. You know, Chuck, this sounds a lot like the time you called me to tell me you saw a dragon in the bathroom at Long John Silver's. I ain't huffed gas in over four years. This was real. Boys, sorry to interrupt. Sheriff, can I have a word with you? Yeah, sure. I'll be right back. Stay put. And don't touch anything. What do you think the mayor's doing here? Damage control? I can't believe Daryl was dead. I mean, just like that. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't really think the news has really hit me yet. Chuck, I think we're a couple of skirts. What? No. Why? I mean, it, it, that thing just grabbed him. We didn't even do a damn thing. It, it, just, it just slashed him in two right away. There was, there was nothing we could have done. I just wish we got a better look at it. Yeah. You know what? You can call me crazy, but you know what I think it looked like? Crazy. I said, don't call me crazy. You just said, call you crazy. But don't call, but I'm telling you, you know what it kind of looked like? What? All right, boys, uh, the mayor would like to have a few words with you. Boys, I just want to say, I'm really sorry about what happened to your friend. And I am making it my number one priority to find the animal that did this. We have a special team of professionals working on it now. Thanks. 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 Good to hear. Now, boys, I know you've had a really long Ooh. night, so why don't you just go home and get some rest and leave it to us? Well, maybe we could help you out. Maybe yeah. ride along yeah. with you. We did get a good look at it, after all. No, 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 no. Uh, we're fine. Uh, you just go home and try and take it easy. Um, look, Dale, we, uh, we called your boss. He said you can take the rest of the week off. Oh, and Chuck, we talked to your mom. She said you don't have to worry about raking those leaves. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. All right, um, you guys are going to have to go now. Like, right. right now? I'm feeling kind of vulnerable. I really don't want to leave. I mean, now. Come on. Can I take this sticker? Yeah, fine, take it. But that doesn't make you a deputy, Chuck. Don't want it, then. <laughs> Hey, Chuck. Let's get some shots, guys. Sounds good. To Daryl, a great guy. To Daryl, great friend and an awesome drunk. Man, did he piss people off. It was fantastic. And one of the best cornhole players I ever got to play with. Let's not go make an outrageous claim just because he's dead. Can't spell cornhole without Chuck. Who got me in the championship last year? Wasn't your ass. I told you my perception was off because that sweat bee stung me in the eye. Now, can we get over that? Still blaming it on the bee. Let's see a sweat bee sting you in the eye and hit us in a shot from 30 yards away. Can we finish this? Yeah, let's finish it. Just drop it before I'd sting you in the face with my fist. Daryl. So what happened, guys? That, Kate, is yet to be discovered. All I know is, there weren't no damn bear. Mm -hmm. Wait, who said it was a bear? The sheriff did. Then the mayor comes walking in, gives us a line of crap. The mayor showed up? Yeah. 
Huh. You guys know about that property he has on 19? Yeah. Well, my friend Jen's boyfriend said he did construction on it. Looks like he's building a wild animal park out there or something like that. What? Yeah, exotic animals from around the world. Huh. Animals from... Hold on. Wait, so I'm getting thought here. What if... What if... One of those animals escaped. It wolfed out all of Daryl. That's why they were being so weird out at the police station. The mayor knew whatever got Daryl, it belonged to him. That's why they didn't want us following him around. Says he's got his special needs team handling. You believe that? All I know is I'm not gonna let him get away with what it done. Sounds like we got some hunting. Yeah, it sounds like it. You know what? I'm gonna grab the shotguns and spotlight. Okay, get a 12 or to go. You got it. Just don't shoot each other, okay? It's not gonna happen twice. <laughs> There was a little subject I want to bring up to you right now. It's important. Now, I'll take it for what it is, but it might be uncalled for. Kate will totally sympathy bang you right now. You need to jump on that. What? I saw the way she was looking at you. She knows you're bummed about Daryl, as am I, and she wants to do anything she can to help with her vagina. <laughs> you know, you're, you're freaking sick, man. You know that. Daryl's corpse ain't even in the ground yet. Daryl would totally understand this. I mean, right now, he's looking down. And he's realizing, hey, I'm a great wingman even from heaven. No, he'd be looking down saying, why'd I ever hang out with these rum dumps? Ah, uh, get out. Hey, Dale, what's that over there in the field? Slow, slow down, pull up. See anything out there? I see a damn thing. I'll tell you what, she still got some good stakes left in her ass there. There's no way you're putting that in my truck. You got that tarp in the back still, we we'll just throw it right in the back. Chuck, it ain't happening. <sighs> Wasteful. Blocking the road. Let's move it. Get out of the way. Just calm down there, Captain Jago. Is that a Yeah. I mean, you know what? Yeah. Was... Okay, it was Sasquatch. I can't believe it. <sighs> sure looked like the thing that killed Daryl. Mm -hmm. And it's still out there on the loose, killing people and cows. <sighs> Need stopped. We have got to stop it before Devlin gets his hands on it. We need to kill it, or else they're just gonna try and save it. I realize it's a anomaly of some sort, but it killed our friend. You kill our friend, we kill you. That's been our motto since day one. Since we's in the second grade. It's one on the same page on Hell yeah! The only problem is how we gonna go about doing it. I don't know. I have to keep it quiet. Mm. We're gonna need some help on this. Definitely. Somebody with some expertise in this field. Mm. See a pig. Pig will eat anything. I seen a pig get a whole roll of tin foil one time. Oh bullshit. I got pigs. I ain't never seen one eat tin foil. Well, it's gonna have some food on it first. Ain't just gonna eat a plane. Well, you know, I had a dog one time eat a whole butter dish. Well now a dog, that's a completely different story. My dog one time got into the pizza box, ate that wax paper in there, he couldn't poop it out. I had to pull it out of his ass. I ain't never heard Rex make a noise like that before. <laughs> You're reading. And you're talking about pulling things out of a dog's ass. Wasn't you just talking about the pus on his big toe? I think this conversation's already taking a nosedive, Uncle. As soon as you started talking. Hey, Burl. Hey, boss. Hey. 
Ain't you the little son of a bitch I seen shooting BBs at my chickens? No, no, it wasn't BBs, it was paintballs. And it weren't even me, it was other kids. You're the only dipshit I know that got a hairdo like that. All right, easy, easy. <laughs> no, bro, we, we have to talk to you. Okay. Frank, two beers? First off, I'm gonna just say how sorry I am about Daryl. You know, he was a great guy. He could party with the best of them. And he was a hell of a good cornhole player. Now, slow down. He, he, he weren't that good at cornhole. Not like talking about me or nothing. Hey, he's pretty good. No, that's debatable. That's all I'm saying. Hey, what's, what's going on? Uh, Burl, there's something out there. Something you're going to have to help us with. Is that a rodent problem? No, <laughs> way crazier than a rodent problem. That don't scare me. I'm an exterminator. That's what I do. I exterminate things. You know, pests, vermins. Except humans, of course. Of course. <laughs> Sorry, that's a little extreme. Yeah, got it. I, mean, I no, like no, that. No, no, no. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a. Spit it out. A Sasquatch. We saw a Sasquatch. Bigfoot? Yeah. You just messing with me? No. Not at all. Anyone else know about this? No, it's just, it's just, that's just us. Wait, I, th I thought they said a bear killed Daryl. No, they no. said that they're just covering it up. Who? The mayor. Why is that? Well, you know, how he's been building that like animal park lately, you know? So we figured the Bigfoot is like the main attraction and now he's trying to uh, scoop it up before anyone else finds out about it. I don't know, fellas, this sounds pretty thin. I mean, I commend what you're doing and everything, but I, I just can't get involved with it, you know? I just don't have that much free time, you know? Between the job and my wife and kids, I just can't go run around looking for some mythical creature. Burl, don't you dare turn your back on this time. I'm not turning my back on this town. I just ain't got the time. Now, I commend what you're doing. If you just need some, like, guns or ammo, I'll hook you up with that. Uh, but I just can't go hunting for some Bigfoot. What about Daryl? Yeah, what about Daryl? I'm sorry. I can't believe this. Daryl served with that man for four years. High school football. And this is how he's going to act? Frickin' Ginger Jagger. Daryl would have been out there hunting for Bigfoot for that fat ass, and that is a fact. That's for damn sure. Yes. Uh, what the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. I just got this pain in my side. What would you eat? Same damn thing you did. All right, come on. I'll take you to the doctor. He'll prescribe you some purses, and you'll oh, be all right. Come on. It really hurts. I know. What's up, Doc? Hello. So what is it, Doc? You have a kidney stump. A kidney stone. Yeah. Uh, ain't I kind of young to begin those? It depends. Uh, how often do you consume alcohol? Mm. Just social events. Yeah, you got one. What do I gotta do? Just to drink plenty of fluids and right. not beer. And uh, just wait for it to pass. Pass? Mm -hmm. You mean like out my pecker? Uh, yeah. And generally out, out, out your pecker. <laughs> uh, well, that, that's gonna hurt real bad, it's isn't it? It's pretty painful, yes. Uh, it could be, yes. Very yes. Sometimes. Well, you can't give me any drugs that's or meds or anything. Well, no, not, not you. It would be, no. Not. Nice meeting you. Thanks, Doc. Good luck. <sighs> How you doing? You told me I couldn't drink beer. Heard that. But you didn't say nothing about no light beer. <laughs> so you always gotta find loopholes with these doctors. Tell you what, Dale. Why don't you just go home, you know, ice your ball sack, Dad, put on your stories. And I'll go hunting for Bigfoot tonight. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing to see here. Move along. All right, mister. Ain't no need to get sassy. Move now! All right. Hey, I'll give you a ride, but the only people I ever let ride this beast are me, myself, and that mannequin from Mannequin. If you 
you've seen that movie. <laughs> That's a little tricky there. Somebody call an exterminator? So it seems to be the problem. Chipmunks. Chipmunks? Yeah, chipmunks. We have them on the back porch, eating our peanuts out of a basket. I bet they snuck in here. Cool. You hear that? Stay here, I'll be right back. What you got there? I got a gun. I saw you pull yours out. I thought you might like some backup. Fair enough. Come on, Mrs. Dabney. Let's take care of that chipmunk problem.
Can I talk to you boys for a moment? Hold on, you're not in trouble. I'm afraid I got some more bad news for you. Real sorry to hear about your uncle there, Burl. Yeah, we um, just found out about that. That man gave him my first nudie magazine. Yeah, I was a, uh, I was a butts and jugs, May 76. Yeah. Bought me beer when I was underage, multiple times. Yeah. Iron cities. Man, we have a few of them. Yeah, we do. I'm sorry I doubt you, fellas. Nah, I don't want to talk, bro. I don't need this to happen now. What's that? We need to find this beast. Yeah. And we need to kill him. Yeah. We need to kill him down! Yeah! We're pretty stocked up right here. Why don't you just take a couple of these with you just in case you see him when I'm not around, you know, you can take him out. Oh, uh, there is one more item I want to pick up, uh, just kind of a plan B type of situation. We got a freaking arsenal here. What else could you need? Mm. Hey, I just want to make sure when we take him down, we take him down. I agree. Thank you. Only thing is, got to go to Pittsburgh to pick it up and kind of need some backup, so I need you guys to come with me. Why, why, why would you need backup? Pittsburgh? What, what, what are you getting? It's just a precaution, okay? Oh, and uh, wear something nice. I just dressed up for Daryl's funeral. I am dressing up again. What are you getting? What's with you? You all right? It's this kidney stone again. Well, here, have some of this moonshine. I'll take care of that. Man, thanks. What are you getting? Oh, great. Burl, there's a lady on the phone about a bat in her house. OK, I'll handle it. Now, Burl. All right. I'll see you in tonight. I, I, I want to know, know what you're getting first. It's going to be on my mind. Tell I'll me see you in tonight. I'll see you tonight. Give me that. What are you doing later? I just gotta go blow some steam off with the fellas, okay? My uncle just died. Is that moonshine? What? I'm morning. Drink my moonshine. Don't know what to do. Ah! Yeah, 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 I'm good. Thanks. Excuse me, can I get another Chardonnay, please? Yeah. I've only asked twice. Hey, she's busy. What? Do you want to bang her or something? <laughs> get real. I'm going to the bathroom. All right, well, don't take too long. We got to leave soon. So what are you guys doing tonight? Oh, me and the boys, we're going down the Berg. We'll see a friend of ours. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
There's no toilet paper in the bathroom and it smells like piss. I'll take care of it. Sure. Can we go now? You're not gonna finish your drink. <laughs> no, I'm not paying for that. It took too long. <laughs> Thanks. Last time I come in this place, it's a shithole. Hey! Whatever, I'm out of here. What an asshole. Anyways, I'm working till two. If you wanna come back later when you get back from Pittsburgh, have a nightcap. All right, that sounds good. Okay. All right, Kate, thanks. Yeah. I gotta get out of here. Talk to you later. See ya. All right, fellas, when we get in there, just follow my lead. white man's rules. This is black man's rules. What you do, you use every color to hit the white ball in, and the last ball that you use to hit that white ball in is the black ball. You understand what I'm saying? You play black rules in my establishment. If you don't, you can get the hell up out of here. <laughs> That's really neat. Um, anyways, I just want to come and hang out and check out the place. Hey, you got a, uh, a spitter? A what? You know, like, spitter? Oh, hell no. You ain't spitting in here. This is a very classy establishment. You understand what I'm saying? This ain't the damn set of hee-haw. Uh, can, can I get a drink, or is that, is that gonna be a problem? You can drink melted down candles? It's Hennessy. Uh, Henry's tea? Shut up. Shut up. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, uh, you get my message? Yeah, I got your message. And uh, we doing business? I got the item, but uh, I ain't selling it. Why is that? See, I thought about it for a second. Every time you come in here, you just do business and you leave. You never stay, get a drink, you never hang out, nothing. You just come down from your little hick town into my black establishment, and you just do what you want to do. I bet when you leave here, you'll be like, oh, Lord, I hate doing business with those Jigaboo coons. Yeah, hey, it's all wrong. No, hey, hey, yeah. I got like two L DeBarge tapes. I don't know where you're coming. Bullshit, you don't listen to DeBarge. You do not know about feeling the beat and the rhythm of the night. I think there's a little bit of misunderstanding. We're not like that. Oh, is that right? Then how come you never hang out, bro? Do you have an answer, huh? Why don't you ever get a drink? Why don't you ever say, hey, Kenny, I want to be your BFF? Well, I, I didn't think about that, uh... You and your homeless Johnny Cash and the Midnight Cowboy can get the hell up out of my establishment because I don't do business with people that don't hang. We came the whole way down here and we ain't doing business? Oh, no business at all. Fine. Yeah, that's right. Fine. Get up out of here. Three shots, please. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? I got an idea. Just follow my lead, all right? All right. Follow that lead all day. Let's do it. Yeah. All right. <sighs> what the hell's he doing? For the six game, got all the right moves like my name was Hitch Man. No time to get Hitch Man players, so I switch names. Swerving in the bravery, damn it, watch me switch lanes. And all in all, they sitting on 26 main. But all in all, every party got me hit, man. I got the product if you fiends need a hit, man. Game need me like the bike need a kickstand. Came in the game producing like a six man. Yo, y'all did it. Four, five, six man. Got a four, five, and a six man. Just clap. arrowheads. 
as requested. Just like Rambo Part 2 used. Bro, we got a deal? Yep. Good. So y'all gonna hang? Y'all gonna party? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, party. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, Potter, pop a couple bottles. Don't shot this, watch I eat and not a miss. If a man want this, he will catch up in me fish. Yeah, snake in a grass, who I is when I'm crisp. If I'm a sexy guy, let me a put kiss. All right, Kenny, Kenny, Kenny. You have to try this this shot I invented. It's 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 a must try, and I, it comes from my own personal archives. Art, archives. Yeah, you try that shot. Tell me you think it's called an olive M. Go ahead and give it out. Give it out. What kind of look is it? Try it out. Try it out. Um, man, what the hell's in that? What type of look is that? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> he said. He said all of them. <laughs> Oh, you're a yeah. genius, my friend. You <laughs> Thank you for taking me out tonight. I had a good time. Same here. I'm sorry about the bar earlier. I know you're a classy lady and you deserve better than that. Yeah. Hey, watch the hair. Oh, please. <clears throat> so... You took me to the point tonight, huh? Yeah. I think it's a pretty romantic spot. Yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby, you're so <laughs> hot. You mean that? Totally. You're hotter than hot. So hot, you make me want to take this jacket off. Kevin, you are so silly. <laughs> <sighs> now, where were we? What? I just want to take it slow. I am. Come here. You know, Kevin, I'm not like that. Well, that's not what I hear. What? And who said that? Kylie Whitman told me you gave Derek Lanker a BJ on the first date. Well, she's a friggin' liar and she's a skank. Yeah? Well, at least she puts out. <laughs> I should know. You know what? You are such a perv. I'm out of here. Becky, where are you going? You gonna walk home in the middle of the woods? Yes! I'd rather be with the animals out here than the animal in the car! <laughs> dead bodies. If we aren't parted with Kenny last night, we better stop this. This is bad. This is real bad. I I ain't feeling so good. I tell you, I think, I think I'm still drunk from last night. Chuck, you're drinking a beer right now. Yeah, that's probably it then. Hey, hey, hey. Would you just pull it together? We need to go out there and deal with this right now. He's right. Now, come on, come Dale. On. Come game on. Face. Game, game face. Face. Go. Let's go. Let's get a ladder down here, okay? Yes, sir. And where's the corner at?
Look, you guys can't be here. My uncle was just killed by that beast. I got a right to be here. Like hell you do. Look, I got a crime scene here. Hey, Sheriff, you got here sound Sheriff Phil, this. this wasn't a lion, bear, or tiger. Then what? It's Bigfoot. And I'm not talking about the monster truck, which is badass. It's coming back down Civic Arena next month. We got to get tickets. Yeah. Really? Sheriff, I know he sounds like an idiot, but you got two bodies shredded to pieces up there. You ever seen anything like that before? Look, I ain't got time for this. You guys have got to leave. Yeah, but no, Sheriff, don't you see that head in the house? And stop drinking during the day. You smell like booze. You stop, stop drinking, drinking during the day, Sheriff. situation. I'll tell you what the situation is. It's a bloody mess. That's what the situation is. I got two more dead bodies from this freak of nature that you brought into town. Let's talk in private. Who was that Jagger looking at us? No, no, like I punch my face. I'll tell you that. I'll right come down the double yeah. after like. Oh, oh. No. Look at that pile of shit there. Oh, that is a big pile of crap. Oh, it's disgusting. It looks like there's something in it. You didn't think that's a Bigfoot's crap? Hey, possibly, okay? Let's not jump to conclusion. Oh, now we gotta think know. this through. It stinks, so. Can oh, we just Dale, move along? Dale, there? relax. It's just shit. Loki here. Oh. <laughs> Dale, knock it off! That's just that gross, Dale. <laughs> gross. You just stuck your hand in a pile of shit. I'm being gross? Dale, well, why don't you just go wait by the truck if you can't be a part of this team? And you <sighs> yeah. All right. We'll see you in a minute. <sighs> Something wrong with you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Evidence. The last thing I need is you freaking out in front of everybody. The well, last thing I need is more dead bodies. That's four now, Carl. Look, I can't keep a lid on this while you're out chasing this bear of yours, which I'm beginning to believe is bullshit. We talked about this. I told you it would take some time. Yeah, but I didn't think more people were going to die. Look, I got to call this into the county. Watch it, Bill. Or what? You promised me a week to find the bear. If you break that promise, those pictures I have of you and that sweet young tart might just resurface. I'm sure your wife would love to see those. Now, do you think this might be Becky's nail from last night? Yeah, it could be. I'll tell you one thing, I'm impressed on nails are built to last. <sighs> Wish there was a way we could analyze it or something like that. Yeah, but Sheriff Bill wouldn't believe us anyhow. Hey, guys, come check this out. You got 24 hours, and then I don't care what kind of dirt you have on me. I can't let this continue. I mean, it's getting out of hand. Can't be undone now. 24 hours, Carl. Look how large this footprint is. Oh, man, that's huge. It's big. It's a big foot. You get it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get that sheriff over here to check it out, but but he probably think it was an elephant footprint or something like that. Stupid sheriff. Yeah, bro, I, I got it with the it, big foot. It's because it's like the two meaning, but you did it in a joke. I got it. I'm a little off today. Yeah, you know, yeah, you yeah. Don't worry about it. Holy hell, your stomach <laughs> shook just from me hitting you like that. Hey, well at least we'll know when there's, a, when there's an approaching T-Rex. Look at this. <laughs> we put a tap in there. We get ginger beer out because he's got the. <laughs> you get the whole time drunk on I that. Know. It's just, maybe, not, maybe a couple less wings next time there. Oh, you, don't, you don't have like to a eat them back all. Full of jelly. You can leave some there on a bar. <laughs> there a goldfish in there? All right, all right, knock it off. <laughs> oh, man, he's probably crying. Hold on. Hey, Burl. Hey, Burl, you need a hug. Kate? Hey, Chuck! You just missed it. 
Bigfoot was just down here, boning your mom. <laughs> hey, Dan Fetty, I got a math book over here, and if I open that up, there's going to be some problems for you. But you ain't going to find the answers in the back. They're in my fist. Ooh. Ooh. Why do you let that brown slime and butthole yeah, come into really? play? Don't change the subject. Are you chasing Bigfoot? No. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm chasing something. I got a piss. Hey, Dale, me and the boys, we're putting together a crack team to go hunt down a unicorn. You in, dickhead? <laughs> oh, yeah, good one, good one, Dan Fetty. Oh, I can't stand that very piece of shit. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up, bro? Oh, hey, bro. Shit. Here comes the third stooge now. <laughs> so everybody knows. Oh, yeah. Is he still one of his math over Oh, there? yeah. Hey, don't start any shit. I'm not. He's talking shit. Hey, three shots, please. Be good. Please. Hey, Burl, who's got a bigger pecker? Bigfoot or your wife? <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about that jag off, all right, Burl? Don't need to apologize for him, Kate. Hey! Steelers suck! <laughs> Let's do this. I was just standing here, minding my own business. Chuck there comes over, tags me in the man bag. Shut up, Dan Fetty. You know what? Better still, just get out of here. Chuck, can you cut me? Shut up, Chuck! Sorry, sorry. You know, gentlemen, this is the second time today that I've had to put up with your bullshit. And let me tell you something, there is not going to be a third. Now, if I so much as hear one peep that you guys are out causing, any kind of trouble whatsoever, I'm going to throw your asses in jail so fast and for so long, you're going to have a hard time remembering what sunlight looks like. We got it! Yeah. yeah. We're going to have to get some milk or something. That sounds like a peep to me, mister! Hey, Sheriff, it was Dan Fetty that started the fight. Yeah, well, thanks for the update, Kate. Uh, so that means we can go out because i got to pick up VO5 probably. I can do that tomorrow. That will wait till tomorrow. Good idea. Yeah. That wasn't bad. <laughs> Pretty bad. My wife is going to be pissed at me. Bro, are you giving me a ride home? Nope. Can I get a two six pack on Dan Fatty's tab? No. Worth a try. I'm taking your towel. <laughs> hey, uh, thanks for sticking up for us. <clears throat> no problem. So what time to get off? Uh, pretty much now. Cool. Let's go hang out. OK. Shots first? Yes. the same thing that killed Daryl. Well, uh, speaking of Daryl, there's something I really need to get off my chest. There's anything you want to get off your chest. I'm all right with that. Well, 
I've been meaning to tell you this. Um, I slept with Daryl. You what? We were at a party, we were drinking, and, and we were just, you know, we we're playing flip cup, we were, and it just happened. I don't know what to say. I mean, I'm really sorry. I like you, and I needed to be honest with you. He knew how much I liked you. What an asshole. I'm really, really sorry. Please, come on, we need to talk about this. No, right? no, I'm done talking to you. Frank, I need some beer to go. Sixer, twelver, twenty-four, er. Now you know I can only sell you twelve. State law. That's the dumbest shit I ever heard in my life. But what if I walk outside and I come back in? No. Why? Because I don't like you, Chuck. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to drink less. How's that? You happy? No tip. Going, Angela. Chuck. You know, I was just thinking I got all this beer, passed myself, my mom's gone for the night. Plus a boom box with tons, loads of good tapes. Then you don't gotta pay for music like you do right here. So what are you getting at? You know what I'm getting at. Now we've gone through this song and dance before. I think it's time we make this happen. So do you think it's that easy? I'll tell you right now, if I could redo that alphabet, put you and me right together there in the middle. Are you gonna stand here all night and keep spinning lines at me? Well, not all night, because my beer's getting warm. What do you say uh, we throw caution to the wind? Well, I do kind of like how you're beating on Dan Fetty earlier. Yeah, yeah, punched him right in his nuts. Also put him in a million dollar dream. What's that? Oh, that's an old wrestling move. Let me show you how to do it. See, you, uh, that guy would come up from behind like this, real yeah. quiet like, you know, mm -hmm. kind of smooth like that. Yeah. Then, he puts hand up, then he would do this until we submit it. Just like, oh, just buy me a drink. That's what I'm talking about. Ma, she's not home. Come on, in. Come on in. <laughs> well, why, why you bite me like that? Remind me not to feed your ass after midnight. <laughs> Once you shut up and put on some music. I got just the thing for you, my dear. You just hold on one second. Band uh, called Red Hot Fire Chucks. Recorded them a few weeks back, and they weren't that big a deal. This is one of the little gems that we got from that, from that recording. I don't know if it's the booth, but this thing half bad. Yeah, you like that? Well, I'll tell you what, I can make you a copy of the tape because I'm working with a two deck system over here. It ain't even that big a deal. Why don't you just sit back and enjoy the show? Sounds crazy, but Bigfoot's out there. I gotta go shoot him. Keep them boobs, I. Damn, Bigfoot cock blocking me. Oh! Oh! Ooh. Ah! Payback's a bitch. <laughs> hey, boys! I got him right in the octagon. Red Merry Christmas, Dick Nose. 
E Jago! <risos> Edna, help me! Get my chew! Bring some ice! In your mouth! In your mouth! <sighs> I tell you what, I have had one hell of a day. Where are you going? Out. Come on, Shell, don't you start. I don't want to hear it, Burl. Do you know how embarrassing it is to go to the store and have the pay for it lady tell you that your husband was just in a bar fight? I was going to tell you. I just hadn't seen you yet. I'm getting so sick of this. It's like you're in high school again. Hey, it's not like I'm having fun. I just got my ass kicked. Mm. And who started that fight? Well, I don't want to get in details about it, but I mean, you know, it just kind of happened, but I got hurt. Don't let Danny stay up too late. If you could, do me a favor while I'm gone. What's that? Grow up. I'll grow up. Uh, uh, where do you think you're going? I'm going to go find Bigfoot. <sighs> That's real funny. That's real funny. You know, you'll be laughing if you do run into him. And if you do, you call me. Oh, hey, bud. Are you a mom fighting again? Oh, no, no. Uh, she just she just couldn't hear me because she was walking away and I had to yell to her, you know. She's hearing problems. <laughs> you want to watch Robin Hood with me? Sure thing. Cool. This old town has got you down. It don't mean much to anyone but you but This old town Takes a crown It takes all your hopes and dreams To watch them drown This old town has got you want? I'm in here rolling pierogies. You're banging on the door like a cops. You ain't gonna believe what's in the paper. Mayor destroys bear. City safe. Yeah, that, that two tall asshole's blaming it on a bear, and the city's buying it. That son of a... I'll tell you right now, this is just like in Jaws, when they kill the tiger shark, but the great white is still out there. But we're like Brody, Quentin, Hooper, and we're gonna track this thing, and we're gonna kill it. All right, all right. <sighs> as long as I ain't Quint, because he gets eaten. Now, Burl be Quint. Let's go get him, by the way. Come on. Hello, boys. Read the news this morning? Yeah. yeah. Well, I just wanted to make sure your minds were all at ease, so there's no need for you to go driving around at night like a bunch of jackasses. It's a pretty typical night for us. Yeah. I mean, is it a crime to go out driving around, spotting deer, shooting shotguns all while drinking beer? Hmm. Yes, actually, those are all crimes. Cut the crap. We know it's a Bigfoot. Uh, a what? Oh, don't play dumb with us. A Yeti, a Sasquatch, a Harry from the Hendersons. We seen it, we know it's yours. Boys, <laughs> you got some imagination. Uh, you know what, let me ask you something. What kind of mayor puts his people's lives at stake over some overgrown ape? All right, hold it right there. 
I don't think you know who you're dealing with. One more word out of either of you and I'll have you arrested for assault. And as for your little derelict adventures into the night, the sheriff is under orders to arrest you and your fat ass friend if he sees you driving around tonight. So chew on that. We can't let him get away with this. No. Let's go get the fat ass. Come on. I can't believe it. That Nogan son of a bitch. Who does he think he is? He's laughing right in our face. All right, so they're going to arrest us if we're out tonight. Mm -hmm. That's the plan? All right, I'll tell you what we do. We bring Bigfoot to us. What I'll do, I'll open up the barn there, and uh, I'll get a cow in there and some chickens, put some steaks in there. He'll smell that. He'll come running in. Boom! Yeah! That, that might just work here, Burl. Yeah, ain't no way that Jagoff going to make us look like Jagoffs. Oh. Yeah, if anyone's going to make us look like Jagoffs, it's going to be us. Yeah. That's right. Oh. What I'm saying is no longer are we going to be the laughing stocks of this town. He is! That's right. Yeah. We're going to take Bigfoot out! Yeah! Marching some bitch right down a parade like in the middle of time. Woo! You know what else we'll do? We're gonna take Bigfoot. We're gonna grind him up. We're gonna turn him into jerky and then we'll sell it to the town. I'm, I'll give you my world famous deer jerky recipe. That sounds good. Let's do this! Yeah! yeah! All right. Chuck, you and me, let's go get the guns. Guns. Dale, you're on beer. Okay. I actually gotta go talk to Kate about something anyway. No, Dale, we don't have time for you to get out of the bar and not get laid. You dick. Well, listen to this. I found out that Kate slept with Daryl. What? You knew? Does everybody know? Well, not everybody. The pastor didn't know until I told him. But I... Burl knows? Burl just found out what BCR stands for. What the hell's that supposed to mean? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, don't even... Leave Burl alone. Look, he's got enough problems. Look at his shirt. Jeez, turning food into verbs somehow. It was a drunk night. They were they were pounding the Barrels and James, listening to the Simply Red. He said it weren't even that good. Be kind of great. If he wasn't dead already, I'd kill him myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't believe the selfishness is coming out of your mouth right now. Now Daryl is dead. Bigfoot ate all of them, even his dog. Now, I don't know if you know, as you die down here without a wang, you don't get to take it to heaven with you. Now poor Daryl's up there in heaven with the likes of of Grace Kelly, Marilyn Monroe. And, and that girl from Poltergeist w w with no peck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, that girl from Poltergeist, she's like 10 years old. No, not that one, the older one that died. Yeah, but the younger one, she died too. Oh, she did? I didn't know that. They're all dead. No, not Coach T. Nelson. He ain't ever gonna die. <laughs> That's right. And I do recall someone slept with Daryl's sister a while back when they were drunk. Yep. Never told him that, did you? Yeah, I for now. Yeah. Tit yeah. for a tit. You got a point there, Burl. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Hey, man, that's water under the creek. It's, it's, it's water under the bridge. Well, yeah, it's under, it, you know. The hell cares? Well, can we get back to this plane already? Yes, please. Let's do like a one, two, three, go type of thing, okay? Oh, okay. Yo, how about a, yeah. a, a one, two, three, jump, high five, like an after school special type thing and no, make no, it no, look. No, no, you jump too yeah. high. I'm not going to well, make Lewis, it. Well, Lewis, wait, you get to the same level as me. Well, my knees hurt. I, I just want to make it. your knees. If you just, oh, come on. You're always ruining the what special moments. I'm trying to make it. Hey, we'll do that first and then we'll go into that with. Where did Dale go? Dale, you going to weigh in on this? See? Now, when you hesitate, we lose Dale. Let's go. Kate, we, we talk. Yeah, guess so. OK, so let's just 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 hold on. I, I want to talk to you about something. OK. You know, I've been thinking, the past is the past, right? Yeah. I mean, you're freaking hot, and you just did what any guy would do in that situation, right? Well, like I said, I didn't know how you felt about me, and I'd really like this to work out. Yeah, yeah, me too. So we're good? Yeah, we're good. All right. Well, I'm getting off soon if you want to hang out. All right, well, I'm meeting Burl and the guys out at his uncle's bar, and I'm, you want to go do that? The Bigfoot stuff? I know it sounds dumb. <laughs> There's beer, I'm down. Really? Yeah, pretty entertaining watching you guys run around the woods drunk looking for Bigfoot. <laughs> I guess it does sound pretty entertaining. <laughs> Let's go then. All right. We're gonna drink seven beers, and then we're gonna go Pee Wee's Pee Wee's baby. There she is! Hey! Kate! Round of beers! Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. When you 
getting out of here? I just have to wait for Tracy to get here. Don't start any shit, okay? Jeff's still really mad about yesterday. Don't worry. I won't. Hey, Dale. Your nose is looking awful pretty there. <laughs> yeah, keep it up, asshole. For oh, what? Me and the boys will just mop oh. the floor with you again. 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 Come on. <laughs> I gotta run out to my truck. I'll be right back. See you later. That's what I thought. See you Second, I gotta take care of something. Hey, damn Fetty. <clears throat> I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna piss all over your truck. Then I'm gonna come back in here and kick your ass. Like hell, he's pissing on my truck. Let's go. Get yeah. yeah. on, but we gotta get up if we're going. Quit pissing on my truck, Pepper Stain. I love your loving like a you love mine. We can stay here till the end of time. Can't you hear the honky talking down the road? Come on, baby, let's say hello. We don't fuss and we don't fight. You don't bark and I don't bite. But we gotta this get up it. if we're going out tonight. This shit stops right now. You got a pub worker? Cool. Oh, yeah, the browns suck. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Took care of it. Ready to get on out of here? Yeah. Let's roll. Come on, baby, let's see. What the heck? Yeah. They won't be bugging you anymore. <laughs> Dale? Yeah. I said we get the cow, put it on the field. You stand out there with it. Bigfoot shows up. You run in. He follows you. Trap him in the no, wait, wait, why, why am I the one running? Well, first off, you're a lot better shape than I am. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Second, you're the one always bragging about those 550 yards you ran our senior year of football. 557. Bigfoot comes in. I pump a full lead. That don't work. We got Dale up there with the exploding arrows. <laughs> Explodes them. Problem solved. Come on, I am way better with a bow than Dale. You're running. I can't have you running and shooting at the same time. I don't have a clone of you, Chuck. Could you imagine if there was two of me? <laughs> Double Chuck. <laughs> Just get the cow. Oh, hey, bud. I cannot believe you. What? What do you mean, what? You're coming home with me right now. By hell, I am. Why are you being a child? Get in the truck. Don't ever get married, okay? Take care of stuff, and you're being this pain in the ass. Everybody else is giving me shit, and I gotta deal with you too. You're looking for Bigfoot, idiot. Do you know how stupid that is? You know what? I ain't got time for this. Well, I don't have time for you. You can stay at your idiot friend's house tonight. Oh, so you're kicking me out? Yeah. Stay. You can't kick me out. It's my house. I'd say something right now if the kid wasn't with me. You know, why don't you just go ahead and say what you want to say? F you. F me. F me. You got a lot of nerve, you know that?
have some of your own size! drinking for days. You have been drinking for days. We got hit by tranquilizer darts. Uh, Where are we? I feel like we're at Seven Springs or something. Bro, see if you can get in my back pocket there. Oh, you got a knife? No, my can of chew. You kidding me? It helps me think. Oh, well, look who it is. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, speak of the devil. What did I tell you, boys? Mind your freaking business! And this is what happens. Asshole! You think you can just think of Sasquatch in this town and nobody's gonna find out? Oh. Yeah, I do. Yeah, well, I know all about your little plan. And I'm about as good as keeping secrets as I am jobs. Well, look who's keeping their mouths shut now. I tell you, you idiots really piss me off. Because of you, I have a one-handed Sasquatch down there who's all messed up. And it's not like they're a dime a dozen. Yeah, you're lucky I don't have my dirt bike. Yeah. What, what, what is that gonna do? I don't, just, I don't know. Shit. Something ain't right up there. I knew we couldn't trust that prick. Well, it's up to us. <laughs> you just wanna go in there like guns are blazing? Hell yeah, Dale, don't be such a freaking skirt. Let's do this. Don't you even care about the people you killed? Yeah, that's real sad. But there's plenty of people. I only got one Sasquatch. You heartless son of a bitch. My Uncle Stedka's that thing, and our friend. And you're gonna pay for that. Mark my words! Do you really think you should be talking to me like that, considering the situation that you're in? You threatening us now? I am giving you options. I plan on taking Sasquatch worldwide. It's gonna put this place on the map. People from all over the world are gonna come here to see her. They will, what, her? It's a, it's a, it's a girl? <laughs> yes, it's a female. And with any luck, she can have babies. Anyway, what I'm getting at is 
you boys can be a part of it. What? We'd operate the freaking Ferris wheel at the Bigfoot Park? Just so happens I know how to run a Ferris wheel, but ain't no way in hell I'm running yours. Yeah, it sure beats your alternatives. You don't have the guts to kill us. Really? I would love to kill you after what you did to her hand. Why does your breath always smell like you just got done eating cream of wheat? It's like the third time I talked to you, and it's like even worse this time. Can't let you do this, Carl. Too many people have died already. Sh Sheriff Bill, you were in on this? No, yeah. Just let me handle this, OK? And how are you going to handle it, Bill? Are you going to shoot me? Well, I'm not going to let you kill these idiots. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out, get my squad car. We're going to take a little ride down to the station. And then. Oh, damn! Nice work. Get his gun, put him down in the cage. We'll deal with him later. Begin. You better get her more anesthetic. We have a situation at the bar. Now what? What is it, copy? Hello, copy. Hello! Let's get into this plan, all right? Mayor's gone nuts. He's crazy. He's talking about Bigfoot parks and us running Ferris wheels and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, he's all spitting on you when he talks. His eyes are all cookie monster. It's, it's a little disturbing. Yeah, yeah, and, and he was even talking about killing us. So if he sees you guys, he might try to kill you, OK? Oh, he, he's trying to operate on Bigfoot right now. His hand got ripped whoa, whoa, whoa. off. And... There's a Bigfoot here. Yeah, I told you. Welcome to the you conversation. Know, you know, for you what the hell you been doing? Oh, you ain't gonna believe this. Bigfoot, he's a girl. What? Your ass. You have to kick me. I hate her already. I hate her too. So let's find it and kill it. We'll split up, holler if you see it. We'll all come running and we'll pump it full of lead. Yeah. We'll pump it so full of lead, it'll be full of lead, and, and it'll it'll die. Cause you want you, you want you want to try that again? I ain't leaving the room. One out. Not really. I'm just really excited. I just I just want to go shoot. Oh, okay, it. So okay, let's okay, go. Let's okay. Go. After another shot. Come on, oh, yes, get you guys one good. right here. Ready? Okay. Yeah. Sasquatch is on the loose. I repeat, Sasquatch is on the loose. shoot each other. Come on, man. It's either you trank each other or I pop you with this bad boy. On a count of three. One. Two. Sorry, blood. Three. That was easy. I 
got some shit. in Elwood City at the home of Mayor Carl Devlin where a major explosion has happened. Police have told me there are several fatalities. I'm still working to get details, but I have had the opportunity to speak with a couple of eyewitnesses. I bet you could see an explosion whole way from Route 288. And when the smoke clears, we'll get in there and prove to you Bigfoot was real. Oh, by the way, called Burl's extermination. Burl's the best. I was right there, Chuck moved to smithereens. Farts flying everywhere. I can't smoke on camera? It was Bigfoot, okay? And I can tell by the way you're looking at me, you think I'm crazy. I ain't. <laughs> I got shot by a dart. Hey, Dale, see if you can find Bigfoot's face. We'll check up on the roof and explode it everywhere. Get the ladder, man. We're oh, okay, oh, uh, hey. I'm just here to tell you that all you city folk think up here in the sticks were just a bunch of hicks sitting around, you know, getting drunk, telling stories of, of spaceships landing. Now here we saw Bigfoot, all right? Well, I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you right now, I just killed Bigfoot. And as soon as I can prove it with, with a body part or, or his ass or something, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you the proof. And that's all you need. I ain't no drunk and I ain't no liar. As you can see, many adamant believers about what happened here tonight will continue to report the facts as they come in. Reporting live, I'm Darius Chisholm. Back to you. Brought your six you there, Daryl. Yeah, Daryl, we did it. Yes, we did. Avenged your death, and this town is safe. Once yeah. again, thanks to us. You should have seen it. Chuck shot him from like 30 yards away. 32. Anyway, he blew him to pieces. Now, town's grateful, but uh, they still don't believe it's a Bigfoot. Yeah, but we know it was Bigfoot, and yeah. that's all that counts. That's right. But I think we're getting a little off topic here, Daryl. Don't you have mm. something you'd like to say to Daryl? Get yeah. off your chest here. Come on. Well, I forgive you for hanging your feet. No, 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 no. Hey, no, he is six foot under the ground. He ain't going to hear that. Come on, from the heart. That's what we talked about in the truck. Come on. You can do it. I, there you go. Daryl, I 
forgive you for banging Kate. There it is. Oh. Jeez, look at that. Don't you feel I, a lot better? I well, you, you look better, better and, I, and I look great, and Dead Daryl feels a lot better now. Let's drink beer. All right, let's do it. All right. Well, you know, maybe that, nope. we should nope. leave that. Nope. We'll leave that for Daryl. I think so. Hey, yeah. <laughs> this is him. Well, look who it is. Hey, Burl. Hey, Burl. Burl. Thought you fellas there. might want to wet your whistle. Boom, yeah, I'll take thanks. that. I saw you over there putting a sixer in Dale's grave. I was doing the same thing for my uncle. Well, he's oh. great minds, you know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Ain't these for your uncle? Well, I left him three. I'll bring him three more tomorrow. Well, oh. all I know is I just can't drink one beer. That's like oh. shooting one squirrel or, or, or just looking at one boo, you know what I mean? <laughs> well, let's do some drinking. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. I got about. the rest of the day off. Let's do it. Well, well of course. Yeah. Hey. I gotta hang out with Kate later. All right, that's cool. She can drink with us. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's that going, by the way? Now, how is that going with her? Going how good? is that going with her? Oh, how's that going with her? Going with her? Okay. I want details. <sighs> Anyways, fellas, I just want to make a little toast. All right. To saving the town. Saving the town. To saving the town. It's been real nice to have that Bigfoot jerky, though. talking, okay? Now, I want to apologize for the way I've been acting. I've been a little crazy lately, but that's behind me now, okay? No more hunting for Bigfoot. Nothing like that. Just normal burrow, okay? Now, on a side note, I got the kid at your mom's tonight. We got the house to ourselves. I got a tub running for you upstairs with all the scented candles and all that stuff. I thought I'd put a couple of steaks on the grill, pop open this bubbly, and come join you. What do you think, huh? Sound good? Yeah. All right. Well, go on up. Get on up there. I'll be right up. Go ahead. I'll pop this up. I'll be right up. Girl, you left the toilet seat up. Well, he's saying pee on the seat. Why do I always have to put it down? Why can't you ever pull it up? You ever think about that? Oh, man. <laughs> Take it! 
safe belt on this one. Don't be afraid. You're 18, right? Oh, you got a friend. I don't got to see your ID. Yeah. I think you all know what long ride means, right? I mean, do I really got to explain it? Because I will. You got a friend? Oh, you just can bring her over. Is our hour up yet? We can do, okay. Get out. 